Hello, fourth graders. Uh, we're going to continue our series of finding variables today, and this time we're going to use um, division. We're going to find ones using division. We're going to find that variable. Remember that the variable is that unknown, that letter. We call it N, um, but it could just as well be in any other letter that we have in the alphabet. We just need the, that letter as a placeholder for that missing number because that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to discover a missing number. All right, let's go over our rules of algebra one more time. Remember that there are two steps in algebra, that when we our first step is to isolate the N, get the N all by itself. And then the, um, in this last one, when we were doing multiplication, you were looking for just one N. Well, this is a continuation of the just one N idea. Um, but this one is going to be kind of funny because um, it's going to look like, um, well, it's going to look like a fraction. But remember that a fraction is a small piece. It's not one. It's actually smaller than one. So we're going to use that idea to help us out. All right. Remember also that we are going to use inverse operations. And of course, inverse means opposite. So let's get started. It is time to divide. All right, sometimes you're going to see an equation that looks like this. This is n over 4 equals 6. Now, another way to write this would be n divided by 4 equals 6, because remember, a fraction is really the same thing as division. So this is n divided by 4 equals 6. Well, remembering that inverse means opposite, we need to do the inverse operation. So if we have n divided by 4, and I want to get to 1n, I don't have 1n right in here. I have something that's even a little bit hard to explain. I actually have 1 fourth of n right now, a quarter of an n. Um, if I want to get there, I'm going to need to do the opposite in the, sorry, the opposite operation. Well, what's the opposite of division? Well, the opposite of division is... Uh, multiplication. So we can read this as n divided by 4, um, or we can read this, and the opposite, of course, is n times 4. Now think back to the multiplication one. We know that 4 over 4 is the same thing as 1. And when we had, if this were 4n, we would want to divide by 4 because that would turn it into 4 over 4, which would mean we would have only 1n. Well, we're trying, we've already got the division part, so now we're going to need to do the opposite, which is to multiply. So in this case, I'm actually going to multiply the side by 4 because that means it's, that becomes 4 over 4. Remember as well that whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other side as well. So this becomes 4n over 4. Do you see that 4 fourths right there? 4 fourths. What is 4 fourths the same thing as? Well, 4 fourths is the same thing as 1. Those two cancel each other out, leaving me with 1n equals 24. Because I forgot at the beginning there, when I did 6 times 4, that, that is 24. Doing anything that to both sides means I'm going to multiply on both sides, and I get 24. Um, and think about it. We can check. Is 24 divided by 4 6? Yes. Six divi or 24 divided by 4 is 6 because 6 times 4 is 24. Now, I turn my 4 fourths into 1. Again, I don't need that 1. I can just write it as n because n and 1n are really the same thing. So I've isolated, I or not isolated, I've turned it into just 1n. I took it from 1 quarter n or n over 4 and I turned it into n all by itself equals 24. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's try another one to kind of make sure we got the right idea. This is n over 5 equals 7. So remember, we have n over 5, n divided by 5 equals 7. I want to get rid of the division, which means I need to do the opposite. I need to multiply. So I'm going to multiply by 5 because 5 is the denominator here. And 5 over 5 becomes um, 5 over 5 becomes 1. And 7 times 5, that becomes 35. So these two 5s here are going to turn into 1. And I'm just going to get n equals 35. Now we can check. Is 35 divided by 5 7? Yes, 35 divided by 5 is 7. Therefore, that's our answer. Again, this may seem like a really complicated thing to do in order to get something that you could probably do in your head. You could say, well, 30, uh, you know, I know that 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Why do I need to do all this, this writing down? And the answer is here, you don't really need to. It's not as complicated but it's going to get complicated. So I want you to practice doing it just like this so when that complicated time comes, you are ready for it. 
So again, take these next few problems, do it just like this, and really practice this skill. Have fun.